what you got here. Oh, shy of the rim. <laughs> is that the, that's your skill school day? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's it's a skill school. school, yeah. How many names do you bring in? Welcome to skill school. <laughs> Guru! Guru ring! Guru! Everyone wants to see Guru's ring. Matt, for Matt. I feel like I'm on a date with Steve Ring. Well, you're not. <laughs> you got the car. I got the car. You do want outfit, Steve. Yeah, you'll be wearing that if you bang the face. <laughs> Look how deep Denty's belly button is. Go on. What? <laughs> Three inch deep. Congratulations, sir. Good great, start. Great start. Yeah. Get him back, brother. No way. Absolute beast of a journey for the latest vlog, folks. Ridiculously far. It's gone international. We've travelled all the way from the north of England. James is up. Yam or Middlesbrough, wherever Might as well from. be in Scotland! <laughs> Ridiculous. And then we travel all the way down to the Channel Tunnel, which is in Folkestone. Folkestone. Right. Through to France, and we actually stayed overnight in Frankfurt, Germany. From there, through the rest of Germany, into Austria, all the way across Austria. Oh, Best Austrian oh, accent, don't know good. if it makes any sense. Into Hungary, got to Zeged, where the Waterland Masters was taking place. Now, these journeys are, they're a mammoth task like they're very long way they're really like they're a test of the mental stamina mm -hmm. but when you get there they are definitely worth it that's why you have to pick a traveling partner that you actually like and luckily i picked stephen ringer <laughs> the best guy ever <laughs> i'm filming you filming getting on train I film you, you film me, let's make a film about Hungary. <laughs> hey, hey, Steve Ringer. Never seen this before, have you? No. Like Yorkshire pudding. Like Jeremy Oliver, aren't you? Ah. Zeged Rowing Course, Walterland Masters 2023. Very long drive, ridiculous. Stephen, you enjoy the drive? Did I do a good job? <laughs> Kept you awake for a little bit, didn't I? <laughs> What's the plan tonight, lads? Bit of bait now, I think. Early night, Matthew. First practice day tomorrow. <laughs> you do want outfit, Steve. Yeah, you'll be wearing that if you blank the face. <laughs> That'll fit you perfect, James. Like a big teddy bear. Oh. 
Oh. What do you say, Frank? <laughs> Mega tough conditions, folks. Um, day one, I mean, we've been fishing for about two hours now. Can't really hold the pole in wind. Um, me and JD have just come for a little drive up the match line. Just see if we can see anything. Like the other English team, the Daiwa boys, they were all sat all huddled around. So probably not catching. Um, tough fishing, not a lot of bites so far. And very poor conditions. Fingers crossed, be a bit better tomorrow. Nice to see a few fish caught. Big carp that, James. Good, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Wrap round his dog's heart now, look. Mega. We're all struggling with the old wind, but we've got about two and a half, two hours left of practice on Thursday. Very, very good. Glad you caught it, because I was just about to have a go. But he has caught that carp. I have caught a carp. He caught a carp. I caught the carp. Go on, Ringer. Now what, Bobby? Session win. Session win. Session win. Session Not the site that we wanted to get up to this morning, folks. Day two of practice has dawned and we've got a, a Siberian freezing cold gale and we're uh, gonna give it a miss this morning. We're gonna go to the tackle shop now, we're gonna go to Tamas' shop, have a look and then come back. And the forecast does say, the wind at the moment is 40 mile an hour and it does say it's gonna drop to sort of 20 mile an hour, which is still too windy, but our box is right up the far end of the rowing course. Definitely not as windy as it up there. No, it does. it's not pleasant and the wind's enough to cut you in half. Yeah. But we reckon in maybe two, three hours time, if the forecast is correct, we might get two hours in. And bearing in mind, we've only got one more day of practice. Yesterday was tough in the wind. Today, obviously, is there's no one fishing at the moment. That tells you how bad the conditions are. Not a single team out of 184 anglers are fishing right now. No, so go to tackle shop, have a look around, maybe pick up a few little gems so to speak yeah. and then we'll come back have a look at the venue sort some bait and hopefully we'll get a valuable couple of hours fishing fingers crossed mate that's the plan we'll update you later look at this like a big shopping centre where you do your Christmas shopping and guess what that is where the tackle shop is in Hungary look at that a bit different to UK that isn't it make a difference isn't it look at that <clears throat> Just arrived in Tamas Walter's shop, Walterland shop. Matt and James. <laughs> Take that for me. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> you like that as a present? She loves pike fishing. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Have a look at what what is here. Line, big old shop. Look at it. Oh my God! Another Steve Ringer. Jesus. Everything here. Steve Ringer leading the way with product development. Nice little red wheel. Wow. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Everyone will know you got one on. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty cool. Another one of Steve. Cool shot, very cool shot. Steve's found a legend of a wafter. Wafter named after yourself. Woohoo! Is it good? Any good, Steve? It smells terrible. <laughs> Back on the match length. Give it the more wave. <laughs> oh, what a depressing day. But hey, we've. Uh, do you think we've learned a few bit? Speaking to some top class anglers in the shop, Matthias especially. Yeah, well. <laughs> we've got a better idea than we were to have day one, so at least we've got things to try. We've got things to try for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be such an important day. Everyone watching, tomorrow is the last <laughs> practice day. So really, we've only had a day, haven't we, Steve? Yeah, but you, we're driving along the match length now. This should be full of anglers. It should be. Every angler on this bank, should, every peg should be taken. There is some vans up here, to be fair, but literally... Oh, there's people on the bank. We haven't seen a single angler from peg 184. To, where we're, to 85, and we're not going to see any until we get to about peg 20 looking at them. Well, nope. This is where we are tomorrow, somewhere. Oh, no, it's 90. We're on. We're on, no, we're on 60, are we, tomorrow? Yeah. Is it 90? 87, yeah. Oh, they're all, they're, they've they're, got they're the gear about, out. They're about our pegs, I reckon. I bet they're not far off, yeah. I think they're pre baiting for us. Go on, lads. It doesn't look, I know we're not we're in the van, but it <laughs> doesn't look as bad. <laughs> Feels nice in here, doesn't yeah, it? Just, what fair. degree are we on? Four. Oh. Feels like. Minus two. It'll be minus one, it feels. It feels like minus two. Yeah. I found a space Go on, on, lads. I play to them. Go on, the boy. They these, deserve a medal. Hey, these are hard, lads. I, I bet these are like Lithuanians. I thought it might be the Scottish. They're hard. They are hard. But they're not hard enough to sit out in this. Bulgarian. Bulgarians, yeah. They are tough, aren't they? Look at them. Oh, no, no, the Hungarians. Look, Hungarians. What do you reckon Paul's look like? Oh, this is a bit of a strike. Fishing short mainly, aren't they? I reckon they're fishing short. To be fair, you know I said it looked all right? Yeah. It no longer looks all right. No, it, it looks pretty grim, that. What numbers are we on, Steve? 51, we're going past our pegs. Oh. So we have to oh, go get a bite then. Not being funny, that's absolutely horrific. Yeah, isn't it? That guy could do a sitting high, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting out of the way of the waves, isn't he? It's hard to tell from the van. Could we the window down. Gusting as well. There's someone up here as well. God, he's he is like he's a soul rider, and he is. Go on, lads. Fair play to him. No fish. <laughs> I think this sums up today. Is it nicer behind here? I'll tell you what. Oh, hi! What a great idea. I'll get that out, lads. <laughs> Matt, Riddles. Matt Riddles and get a bucket for water. Black and white and red all over. <laughs> Go on. Sunburnt penguin. Ah. Anyone who watches the vlog, I thought it was about fishing. <laughs> never been here four days, I've done any fishing yet. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> you literally are not. <laughs> Nothing. You know the vlog, is it not about fishing? No, it's about travel. Travel and then. I feel like I'm on a date with Steve Rinker. Well, you're not. I'm going to date with him. The tank is such a morning person. Let's go and find him. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I 
morning, go off. <laughs> no, it won't have done yet. Have you made the coffee? Showing what time it is. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> Day three practice. One degree. Pretty cold. Baltic. <laughs> Morale? Enthusiasm. Low. <laughs> Looking forward to getting a bank. I am, to be fair. We've got a new plan of attack. Yeah? You're trying to stay positive. I am always positive. You're trying to stay positive and look like, I don't know, it's make or break. It's moving. Brother always calls it moving day. Moving day. We're either going to move on a steady spiral down. Yeah. Or, we're or, gonna, up. or confidence will be up and we're going to day one as the favourites. We're going to win it. We've won it. We've won it already. <laughs> right, let's do trying to get out. Tweedledee and Tweedledum directing him. On your beard. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. We've cracked it, lads. We're going to win. <laughs> Anyone that watched last year's Hungary Gurus on the Bank, um, it was a lot warmer and the conditions and fish were feeding a lot more confident so this year it's a bit more a bad thing. traditionally Hot. trickier bloodwormy we think we think we don't have a clue basically do we no, we've clear. had half a day's fishing so far haven't we you have you haven't even caught a fish i haven't even wet the line yet matt matt as well not bothered <laughs> all right <laughs> oh, six crash here <laughs> good <laughs> <laughs> Mix for today, final practice session. Hopefully, it's the right one. It's a secret, can't tell you. It's all going in in my, my pig today. Wallop. Do you reckon, James? I'll tell you what, we've got some epic conditions today. Look at that. It look, you know what, the do phone. Do, do you doesn't... your phone float down? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's under, above, under, under, above. above. It's like the sea. It's not as windy in terms of strength, but yeah, the waves, James. You feeling wavy? Wavy. This is what happens when you think it's a still, but it's actually a video. <laughs> this is me trying to look cool. Sometimes I give it this one. Sometimes I give it that one. Yeah. What do they mean? I don't know, so I'm gonna give it that one, that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> Can you do that one? Wait, it's a... Be seeing you. Can't do it. Let we go. Coffee time. Time lapse coming, right now. Come on, Frankie, do your job. There you all folks. I couldn't catch one. <laughs> this man's got on. Show me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Lucky man. <laughs> Modern day miracle here, folks. Reckon, Jenny? You know when you first rode your bike with no hands? No, no, it's dead. <laughs> the wind's dropped. Wow. Go on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You got there, tank. Big sturgeon, I think. Yeah. A zeghead sturgeon. Oh, that's a nice one. Baby, 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 Boys are getting pinkies, maggots, bit of bloodworm, joker. Got some awesome bait from the suppliers here. Pop done an awesome job. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm just sorting out all the bait for the rest of the week. <laughs> Steve's hooping cough's coming good. Lovely. <laughs> I've got a tickle in my throat as well, which is great. Dreams oh, have come shit, true. Best sure. names I've heard all day. Sharon's caring. <laughs> I'm playing with my pinky as normal. <laughs> <laughs> Final practice session. How are we feeling, team? I think good practice day for the final one, that, because we've all done something a bit different mm. and everyone's had a little bit of a different result. So I've got a few things for tomorrow, I reckon, you? Yeah, definitely. And obviously, we've only had one day, really, haven't we? So mm. it's going to everyone's in the same boat, but I think it's uh, we've got a few little bits to work at, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I think in an ideal world, we could have done with one more day. Mm. Yeah. But I feel a lot better today than I did. Obviously, we lost yesterday. Monday wasn't a great uh, experience for us. So I feel like we've got a plan. You know what I mean? And if we can stay in it tomorrow, I'll quote that brilliant phrase. You can't win it on day one, but you can lose it. Love it. And that, my name's that's David. Where you, that's where you hit the stop recording button at the end of that bit when he said that. Yeah, that's basically done. Oh, look at that, he's uglier than Matt. What kind of fish is that, James? I lost a lot, but he didn't get away this one. Ah. He didn't lose, did he? he got... Look at him, look at mouth. They are a cool fish, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. You're going to give him the good news or the bad news? Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't count. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Right, oh. Let's get a picture. Oh. <laughs> oh. Opening ceremony time. Tomas there. Stephen. This is the closest we'll get to these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. I reckon that's, that'll, that'll be ours. Is that the one? Is that one? You would think so. That's the individual. I don't bother to, not bother about that one. Where's the map? The second. That, that, the second over there. Right, that's nasty. That's, that's where you normally come. That's such a nasty. Yeah, wait, if someone offers you second now, take it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one we're going to win, everyone. Thank you. Hello. Love it. Love it. Show me your time. Rock and roll. Look at all that. <laughs> Dead dog. Routine. Strictly waters for you, Stephen. A new tank. I want you on a a, a game. Hey, what? UK from England, let me say. We have the national team from Scotland. We have teams from Germany. We have a very good friend of mine or two from Denmark. We At least a full table from Italy. Uh, a big table from the Netherlands, ladies and ten years together. Ready? Ready? Meters on. Twenty, my age. Very good, baby boy. What does that mean? Day one gang, peg 97 for me. Um, quite happy with team draw, I think. We've avoided the top section in D and the very bottom section in A, which are all um, got the end pegs in. Well, that's a cracking line of triangles, isn't it? 180 odd, 46 teams from 19 different nations. And conditions are a little bit better for the start of match. Apparently it's like this today, tomorrow, then the wind's swinging round, but it's not going to be too strong, so got everything crossed.
Hem tu. Okey ya. Four kilos winning. You know what's that name? That's hard. Eight thousand four hundred and thirty. Well done, mate. Well done, Tang. Come on. What you had there, and how have you done? Well, eight point four three kilo when it won the section. So congratulations, on. sir. Good great, start. Great start. Yeah. Get them back, brother. Bye, bye, cap. The section. Great, great, great start. Go on, boy. Get, get him back. Yeah, get him back. Many fishes for James. What weight and how have you done? Nine kilos um, for a section win, so over the moon. Fantastic start. One, five, six. Same peg tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, and a few more this exact one here. Yeah. <laughs> well done, brother. <laughs> awesome. We couldn't have wished for a better start to the Waterland Masters, could we? No. Six points, day one. We were in numero uno position. I think it was one of the best scores that... Uh, I th it could have been a record, I'm not 100% sure, but six points out of 23 peg sections yeah. as well is pretty phenomenal. So hopefully we can uh, maintain it. Hopefully we could maintain it. This is like past tense, isn't it? We're looking back. Uh, hopefully we're, we could maintain yeah, it. Yeah, we were hoping to maintain yeah, it. Yeah, we were hoping to maintain it because obviously we're at it, home. Yeah, if we'd have been good, we'd have filmed this while we were there, but we're not, so mm, you're mm, having it now. Yeah. But hence why the beard's longer. It is long. Day two of Waterland Masters, just about to do the draw. The way the draw works is there's basically three sets of matrixes, so we don't actually draw today. So Tamas and his team have sorted out all the pegs, so yeah, he's just going to hand me a sheet, literally, and then that's going to be our pegs, so let's hope it's a, a good a day as yesterday. Day two, folks, I'm on peg 62. Um, down there, I don't know if you can see that tower, that's where I were yesterday, about five, six pegs other side of that. Um, so a long way from there. Team draw wise, um, Dent is up in D again, about 12 pegs from the end. Um, Steve's in C where I was yesterday, but the other end of it, obviously big sections, there's 46 pegs in a section and that's split into two 23s. Um, I'm here, 62, in B section, and Tank's down in A, down there somewhere. Um, he's in sort of this side of A section, so we've avoided fishing against the end pegs in that one, but Dent has got them to contend with in D, so great start yesterday. Um, good conditions again, overcast, bit cold but calm, uh, but it is peggy. We all caught some carp yesterday and they seem really important, so fingers crossed for a few more today. Day two match, Dent Dog, how's it gone? Tricky day for us today, I think. The teams struggled a bit. We didn't change any tactics, obviously, because we did brilliant on day one. Um, and we scored 40 points, which was a few more than I wanted, really. Far, yeah. far more than I wanted, to be <laughs> honest. How did you do? I was eighth in my section, um, which is, is, is all right. Yeah, good. But Out of 23 peg sections, it's, it's a good result. Yeah, yeah, I was in the, it was in the end section. I've got the tower and the end, so you expect a few to beat you. Yeah? Mm. So I wasn't too dis, displeased, but um, hopefully we'll up the game, get a few better pegs for tomorrow and stay in the race. Stay in the race, that what for me. Well, Stephen, Heroes to zeros. Zeros. We are zeros. Done it too many times on this venue now, but I'm so disappointed. Are you? I am. But yesterday I got out of jail. Today, mm. as you can see by this tremendous catch, <laughs> I've not got out of jail. So, but we're still in second. Yeah. We'll have a we'll have a team meeting, have a rethink, <laughs> and see if we can hold on to second. Let's do it, mate. It'll still be a good result. Yeah, well, get I'm gonna get these back. Get them back. If he slides in now. Absolutely wet myself. Is there anything that would cheer me up? Oh, fuck off. <laughs>
Let's have a quick recap on Gear Max. We didn't get a lot of chance to run through it, did we? No, and a lot of people have asked about it afterwards as well. Pretty simple, but some really important little things made a big difference. First thing to talk about, which was massive for Carasio, and it was actually Tamas Walter mm. who came and gave us the tip off, is hooks and the weight of the hooks. And you needed a couple of different ones depending on what were in your peg. A match special 18 to 010 fluorocarbon was the combo on the tricky times in the match yeah. the start and middle bit of the match that is pretty much all we had on heavy enough to land a carp if you hooked one but a lovely light sort of a square but wide gape hook with a medium nice wire point, yeah well. very versatile mm. and you can hook bloodworm or pinkies maggots um, without bursting them beautifully on it but still got that bit of strength and that was matched up with a rig on yellow hydroelastic soft but again, stretches for miles, still land yeah. carp on it. And the other hook that we used, potentially, potentially, more likely in the last hour. When they were feeding. When mm. the carp were feeding, yeah. yeah, was a feeder special. A little bit thicker wire, a little bit stronger, and very slightly busy. And we only really used a 16 in them, yeah. an 18 in them. Um, and we used either 011 engage or 012 fluorocarbon for this one, something a little bit heavier with a pink hydroelastic yeah mm. still soft so if you were hooking carasio skimmers because mm. every fish mattered in this match um but a little bit more power if you hooked carp too um and then rig wise everything were tied on 015 engage um and we set up several different floats but the sizes that we actually used were 4b18 a gram and a gram and a half in the new um guru natural range these are the skimmer versions and fish I'm, lovely then they're beautiful they? mate they've got a little bit thicker tip um to your standard sort of silver fishy bloodworm float so everyone can see it but then shotting wise yeah really simple i've showed people this shotting pattern so many times and i know me and you use it for most of our fishing mm. it's a bulk about 50 centimeters from the last dropper and then a little taper of shot below it getting further apart as you go down the rig and the reason for having the eye bulk is in them tricky conditions, it just gives you a nice, slow and prolonged falling. So wary fish watching it in tough conditions, just teases them a little bit. Tease me, tease me, tease, tease me, tease me, me baby. Yeah. Day one was a masterclass. Day two? was a disaster class. 40-odd mm, points. Um, makes me feel a little bit sick thinking about it. Looking back now... It, horrible day mm, haunting um horrible we dropped down after day two when we scored that into mm -hmm. second place the team got above us that i think was in second place to us yeah um, but they had two great scores didn't they they had 12 points the first day and on the second day they actually scored 10 points which is quite phenomenal mm, really fantastic fair play but uh, uh i think we had 40 odd points yeah we ended up um like i said fifth on day and ended up in second place overall which i'd say uh, after day two changed our aims and missions to maybe hang on to that yeah yeah because the reason why is because there were so many teams behind us i think there was four teams within five points yes so the get the goal was to maintain second place and that is what we tried our very best to do but it didn't quite turn out as we wished can't press stop recording you know when you've got your thumb on it Final day waiting to find out the pegs. I'm not doing a speech. So I would like to ask you to be fair with the father of the guys. Okay, I know it's good for feeding. You can feed with it, no problem. But you use the use the limit. Do you reckon day three draw, Captain? Disaster. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> no, to be fair, we've avoided. Obviously, there's 46 big sections and they're split into two 23s. And in A and D, we're in the high half of A and the lower D. So we're not fishing against ends. Nice. Which, which I think is more than you can hope for. When it is talking. Hello. Hi, Jim. Am I 152? Captain. I've took, I've, took, I've took over. Thanks, Act. <laughs> Come on, Grandad. You weren't saying that first day, were you? Eh? Hey? 152. 152. Final. Final, brothers. Final, brothers. <laughs> Final day, Stephen. The last hurrah. Driving to his pegs. 
What are you thinking, mate? I'm thinking positive. Yeah. First what? time. First wow. time ever. First time ever. What? I feel like yeah, the draws in our favour. Yeah. We're not competing against ends in AMD, and it's down to us. Yeah. Honestly, it's in our hands. It, I think it's that type of venue where you. It's easy to blame the draw, but it comes down to whether, whether we got can, it right. Yeah. Whether we can make it happen. And yesterday, particularly me and you, yeah, didn't make it happen. We didn't make it happen. We've got scores to settle. I'm a forty-four. Which is actual peg 44. What are you on, Steve? 80. 81. 81. Which is. I was actually that peg when I won on the first day. So you're 10 pegs to the left. Which, to be honest, mate, all the fish were there yesterday, Any, weren't they? They always say anywhere near a gap. Yeah, and the gap is what, what right there. 86. Uh, 85. No, no you I'm just gonna, left at the gap. We fished about here, the practice. I think we did, yeah. First, first day, wasn't it? Yeah. He's a lovely bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's What's his awesome. name? Marco Ginovesi. Oh, go on. Very powerful man. Just like Frankie Giannancelli. Like Ferruccio Gabba. You love them, Ty. Mm. Who, who was Jacopo Jacob. Falsini. <laughs> powerful, powerful Francesco name. Giannancelli. Very weak. Oh. Final day, gang. Day three. Oh, big day ahead. Few different mixes on the ground now. Last day we got a full on ground bait mix there for the start. Bit of a combination soil and ground bait, and then just soil on its own so we can uh, have a little play around. Some lovely little mixed maggots and pinkies from Wickersley. Thank you, gang, for looking after us bait wise. Joker from Pov, who I've drawn next to. Worms, corn. Let's give it a go. Fingers crossed. Let's hope they don't like the slider, boys. Crikey. Like a war zone. What you got to say? I need to get this out of my system. What? Not a good day, but frustrating. We've ended up where are we going? One and a half points off. Winning. Winning. Oh. Not, not the end we wanted. But this morning, if you'd have said to us, "You're going to be you... second by a point and a half," we'd have said, "Absolutely not." <laughs> Won't we? Yeah, we wouldn't have been happy with a point and a half, but. If I'm honest, I thought that the other team would have scored quite a lot less than they have today. Mm. Second but, out of 46 teams. Oh, it's an awesome achievement for the team. Brilliant. From, from 19 different countries. Yeah. It's been a wicked three three days match oh. and the whole shebang, hasn't it? Yeah, but it hurts point and a half. It does hurt. But we've been on the other side of it as well in team events, so you've got to take it on the chin and move on to next year and hopefully we can go one better. I'm not happy. No? No. I haven't even seen Steve or Frankie yet. No. Do you reckon they're going to be smiling? No. So then Tank, yeah. what is the verdict? Well, we're both absolutely devastated because we've actually finished second which is an amazing achievement, but we're only one and a half points off first. That's the signal. Obviously, last night we had a team meeting said we'd take second now. Yeah. It's a medal, but the one and a half points is going to stick in the throat all the way home. Yeah. But, like you said, it's a massive... Still a great four, 46 teams. Yeah. Some 18, of the, 19 different countries. Some of the best teams in Europe. I want to pop it, pop it back. Why couldn't you be a little bit heavier? Result time. Can't have much more to say. James, Matthew, William, Cameron, Stephen Ringer. Now the runner up. <laughs> Only one and a half point from the winner place. I think probably the 
strongest team by the names and the international activity at the moment. <laughs> Only one and a half point from the winner, and they had the top weight as a team. They are the guys who caught the most fish. What do you say? That's it. Finito. Done. Tell you what, the old 21 hour drive home is going to feel a lot better now that we're all holding one of them. I know it was close, boys, but nice to get a trophy. Yeah, it's a massive journey home and it will feel better. Did we have a chance of winning? Yes. But is second good? Yes. Fly on. Fly on. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you want to see other videos like this. See you, boys. <laughs> Love it. Perfect ending that was. Mm. Action. In this style of competition, you come away and you sometimes have a good medal or mm. a good podium place, like a third or a second, and you sometimes have a bad third or a second. And if I'm being true to myself, I'm saying this was a bad second. It definitely wasn't a good one. No, far too close. Could we have won, as Ringer said? Yes, definitely. We could have a point mm. and a half. We had a chance there. Mm. It was the second day. Yes, it was. The third day, we actually think, I thought we did brilliant. I thought we did fantastic. Don't mm. think we had the best of draws. I think we did really well off mm. it. Um, quite hard to take. You don't really know what to say about it other than if we'd have known what we knew at the end of the third day. Yes. At the start of the second day, I'm saying we'd have won. I'm saying we'd have won. Um, and the mm. real brutal truth of it is we're probably not going to get an opportunity at that venue where it fishes like it did that week. No. Again. We're going to have to adapt, aren't we, next mm. year? Because I think it'll be a bit later in the year, be a bit warmer, and what that means is your baits and stuff are different and you're, you're fishing for different fish. And it'll be like fishing a different mm. venue. It pretty much will be, yeah. But we hope you enjoyed that, folks. Like I said, a bit of an insight into the trip, international fishing, because we're obviously fishing at the same time. I know. We do miss some bits of filming. We'd love to get it all for you and have it all in, but we've got to fish and do prep and gear, etc., all the time as well. But It's um, not been a real fishy vlog of this one. It's more of a bit of a road trippy, like, behind-the-scenes one. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, next international vlog, are we going to do one World Club Champs yes. in Poland? Yes, we're travelling together on that one. We'll try and yeah. do you on there. That's the next international trip we're going on together. Poland for the World Club Champs with the Drennan Barnsley Blacks team. Couple of months, isn't it? Not yeah. long. We'll see you there. Hope you enjoyed it. Slide on. Slide on. Bye-bye. Now you need to do a cut to end it. <laughs>